Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the Xiaomi SmartBand 8 Pro. So this is the big brother of the palette-like Mi Band 8. It's got a larger display, 1.74 inches. It has inbuilt GPS. It actually blurs the line between a smart fitness tracker and a full-on smartwatch. But we'll talk about the details of this tracker slash smartwatch in this review. So without further ado, let's get into it. Design-wise, this tracker does look more like a smartwatch, let's be fair. You have the tall sides, the case has a metal coating or a metal finish. There are integrated sports straps. Now, these are actually quick-release straps, so with the click of a button, you take the straps off. And if you go to the Xiaomi website, you can order in more interesting straps. We're talking about leather, braided, and so forth. You can actually get straps with lugs, and that will visually increase the size of this already quite a massive tracker. The straps are tuck and clip. Now, you know that I'm not a fan of this kind of straps. I do like the classic watch type because it's just so much easier to put it on and off, but we have what we have here. And they are quite wide. They do have quite a number of holes in the strap, so your wrist does get enough ventilation and it doesn't get too hot and clammy. Now, this quality is actually quite good. It's not too velvety and yet it is rather soft, so you're not going to have any discomfort wearing the out-of-the-box strap. On top of the face, we've got 2.5D Gorilla Glass. Now, it's a flat surface. I've mentioned this before and I'll say it again. There is no button because now we have this huge AMOLED display. It does feel like we're missing a bit of that support and functionality that we get from a button because now it's all about touch activation. But now that we're talking about the face, let's get into the display specs. So we get 336 by 480 pixels, popping out 336 PPI, that's pixels per inch. We do get always on display, AKA AOD. We do get auto brightness because there is an ambient light sensor here. And once again, it's all touch activated. Considering this watch does blur the line between a fitness tracker and a smartwatch, potentially having a button on here for all that additional functionality and support that you get. Because when it's wet, let's say you're sweaty and you've got sweaty hands or you're under some rain and the screen gets wet. Operating a wet touch activated display is not the best thing out there. So you really do need that button to help you navigate a smart band, especially the one that looks like a smartwatch. You get six different faces which are stored as default on your watch. And of course, if you go to the Mi Fitness app or the Mi Wear app, as it's called in some jurisdictions, you can get absolutely hundreds of watch faces that you can easily download to your watch. I do feel though that the bezels on this display are quite thick and it would just look more aesthetically pleasing if Xiaomi did something about it and actually made them thin bezels because now it looks almost old-fashioned but that's just the bezels they're not a deal breaker at all um, it's just a nice to have anyways let's keep going with the features and functions because there is a lot to talk about there fitness trackers smart watches sport watches they're all about your health stats about the metrics that a watch can offer you well, here we get 150 goal-based sport modes that are measured and they're all goal-based, meaning that you can set an objective to a particular exercise, such as distance to be walked or run or cycled, a time objective or a calories to be burnt objective. Now, in regards to distances, well, this tracker actually gets built-in GPS. So something missing on the smaller brother, the Mi Band 8. In addition to the goals, you also get pace alerts as well as heart rate zone alerts. You can set up auto pause. That's very useful if you're doing walking, running, cycling. As well as that, you have the option to switch on auto detect sport modes. So that will enable the auto detection of a six different types of sport modes. So for example, you're running, you're walking, rowing, elliptical workouts, and so forth. This tracker also gets 5 ATM water resistance, meaning that you can take it to the pool with you. 
and it will actually count the number of laps that you swam as well as the number of strokes you have taken. Considering it does get inbuilt GPS, you can actually take it out to open water swimming as well. In regards to sensors, it's got a whole bunch. So 24 seven, you get your stress, SpO2, aka blood oxygen saturation, as well as heart rate monitoring. And this is all day monitoring. So you get the trends and you can actually analyze how you're getting on and are you seeing uh, the improvements you wish to see. The heart rate widget on this watch is actually quite interesting. So you don't need to go to your app to see your 30 day average of your resting heart rate. So that is another useful feature that you get. In regards to sleep monitoring, well, three stages are being monitored here. Your light, deep and REM sleep. And what I find really good is that you don't need to go to the app to check out how your sleep stages looked over the previous night. You can do it right from the watch face. I don't want to get into the more simple apps and widgets such as your weather widgets, your timer, your stopwatch. Many trackers out there do that today and they're all about the same. I'm only talking about the really exciting features and once again 150 sport modes plus the inbuilt GPS for 50 bucks. This watch doesn't cost that much at all. It's only a little bit above the Mi Band 8 but it actually does look feel and actually wear like a much bigger more advanced watch anyways i got this watch from aliexpress and i will leave a link to the listing in the description below the video so make sure to check it out if you're interested in getting a sharp price thank you for watching this review of the xiaomi smartband 8 pro if you want to see comparisons to the mi band 8 its smaller brother to the huawei trackers to the redmi trackers as well as heart rate accuracy tests well make sure to hit the red subscribe button below the video and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one